going to arrange the equipment. So the examiner is already given me a peak flow meter which is clean and a disposable mouthpiece which is clean and a tray to use. Okay, so everything is clean. I don't need to clean anything. I'm going to now put the peak flow. Uh, it goes either way. Both hands are fine. So you're just going to attach the mouthpiece to the peak flow meter and make sure your gauge is right at zero. Okay, so I'm going to bring it at zero. So, okay, Michael, I'm going to explain it to you how to do the reading and then we're going to do your readings. So, you need to sit in upright position, which you are sitting, which is good. So, I have already brought your needle to zero on the peak flow meter. Now, you need to hold it horizontally like that and make sure your fingers do not obstruct the needle while you're doing the reading, okay? And now, you can take a full deep breath into full inspiration. Can you take a deep breath into full inspiration for me? Okay, you have done that. Now I'm going to put this into your mouth, Michael, and then you make sure you seal it with your lips very, very tightly. Okay, so make a tight seal with your lips. Now I want you to blow into the peak flow meter in a short, sharp huff as forcefully as you can. Okay, can you do that for me? Okay, right, so you've done that, and examiner. I will shout my reading. They have said to me my first reading is 360. Okay, that's well done, Michael. I'm just going to take that out. Right, so for the second reading, I'm just going to give you a moment to rest. Okay, you rest and I'm just going to bring the needle back to zero again. Okay, so you feel okay? Are you ready for the second reading now? Okay, so again, you sit sitting in upright position. That's good. Okay, so take a deep breath into full inspiration again. Okay, you done that. I'm just going to put this into your mouth. Make a tight seal with your lips. Now, blow into the peak flow meter in a short, sharp huff as forcefully as you can. Okay, you done that. And then uh, examiner will give you your second reading. So, that's how to do. And then I will repeat the process third time again to get the third reading from my patient, making sure uh, I bring the uh, needle back to zero and give them a moment to rest in between. Okay, so so that would be then repeated one more time. So that will be your three readings. After that, you will take this uh, mouthpiece off, put that into the clinical waste bin, and you will clean your peak flow meter using a cleanal wipe. Okay, and you will clean it from the um, clean side to the dirty towards the mouthpiece okay so that's what you will do in exam put the mouthpiece into the clinical waste which is normally next to you uh, in clinical waste bin and then take a clean L wipe and clean the peak flow meter from top towards the end okay and let it just in the tray leave it to get dry take your gloves and apron off and clean your hands okay and then document your readings